Maritime exhaust systems. Nobody thinks about it. Just like your car, you start the car, you put it in gear, and there you go. Who thinks about exhaust? On maritime exhaust systems, we have water-cooled exhaust, which has raw water running through heat exchangers around the engine, and then is exiting the exhaust at about a thousand degrees, and then it depends upon that cool water to reduce the temperature to around 200, maybe 300 on bigger systems. But some of the things I want to point out, first of all, exhaust is poisonous gases, carbon monoxide. And if you've got a leak, some people might actually get onto that hose clamp and crank it down real hard, then they'll crack this fiberglass elbow on the exhaust system, which of course makes it worse, not better. So that's one problem that we need to be aware of. And another problem is sometimes things just fail. In two hands for that. So look here. I'm going to hold it up to the whiteboard. See that crack in the flange? So this is leaking carbon monoxide exhaust gases into the engine room, which eventually end up in the cabin where people are. So you want to check these. Make sure that you don't have any problems with the metal connections or the flanges. And then here's my favorite. This is a big silicone hose for an exhaust system. And you can look at it and say it looks okay. And now it's kind of looking a little burned, a little burned, a little burned. And look at that. Now we've got a hole in the exhaust. Not only are we blowing water into the engine room, but we're blowing poisonous carbon monoxide fumes into the engine room. So you want to check things on your boat. If they don't look right, ask somebody. Or you can take a picture and email it to me and I'll be glad to help you. This is an exhaust elbow coming off of a generator, a 12 kilowatt generator. And you can see all the porosity corrosion right there. And you think, well, this is stainless steel. Why should it rust? But it is. So this was replaced, proactively replaced, because if the exhaust elbow leaks water, it doesn't leak water into the bilge. It leaks it down onto the electrical armature of the generator. So you've got a fire hazard. If you want to learn more about exhaust systems, rubber, raw water impeller cooling systems, or any of the DIY skills that you may want to learn while cruising aboard your boat, join us in Florida, February 2025, for our Cruising 101 class and also for our Introduction to Boat Systems class. Look at the link down below and hope to see you down here in warm February, Vero Beach, Florida.